Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of SG Style Notes. My name is Baba T, and today I'm gonna show you how to fix your crushed hat. Let's do this. So here's the bumming news. Unfortunately, your hat will get damaged eventually. For example, for me, there's been times when my hat has gotten damaged from me being out with the boys, somebody bump into me, boom, hat's on the ground. Somebody steps on it in my apartment, in my closet. I'm trying to put some stuff on and then boom, something hits my hat and something falls on it and then smash, crush. And then third thing is with my dogs. My dogs are at home, they see my hat on the ground, they feel like they just gonna jump on it, play on it, stomp on it, and golly, my hat is damaged again. But don't you worry, we got some tips here that's gonna help you bring that hat back to new. So it's gonna be a couple items that you need. The first thing is gonna be a steamer. You can either pick up a handheld steamer or you can be like us, go to your local department store and grab you a Con Air steamer for under 75 bucks. The second thing that you need is an ironing pad or a towel. And you're just gonna put that over your table to protect your table. The third thing you're gonna need is a washcloth. And what you're gonna do with that is just wipe off any moisture that gets on the hat. And the last thing you're gonna need, which is a game changer, is this bottle of hat stiffener. Now, before we move on to actually fixing our crushed hat, it is important that we know the construction of a fedora. So here we have our fedora. It is a trilby fedora, and here is the crown. So as you can see, the crown has its own shape. And the reason why this crown gets this shape is because during the process of construction, it is heated anywhere between 280 degrees to 350 degrees in heat to give it this mold that it has, which is so beautiful. And then the second thing is on the brim, okay? So the brim has a curve to it, okay? And the, and the way the brim gets this curve is, 100 pounds of sand pressure that is applied directly on this brim to give it its shape. So therefore, if it were to bend or snap, it's able to just boop, pop back into shape. Now, the final piece of construction for our trilby fedora is the crown decoration. And for our trilby, we use a ribbon, which is stitched fabric, and it just makes it very easy to fix in the event that you get it crushed. Now, let's get ready to fix our crushed hat. So now that we understand the construction of a fedora, and we understand that each fedora needs a high amount of heat and a high amount of pressure, we know that we can get these fedoras back to their original state. They just need some help, and we're gonna help them. All right, now step one, let's get the creases and dents out of the crown. So we're just getting the creases and dents out. Applying steam to bring the hat crown back to its shape. So now we're putting some pressure onto the brim. So first we do the exterior of the brim and then we'll flip the hat upside down and get the interior of the brim. And when you're steaming, you have to be patient because there's gonna be times you have to let the, the hat dry, cool off, and then reapply steam, and just repeat the process until you get that perfect, perfect crown again. Now we're on to step two, we're just gonna steam out the ribbon. Now remember that you should only steam out a fabric ribbon. If it is not fabric, we do not recommend that you apply steam to it. All right, now we're on to step three, where we're gonna apply steam to the brim. Um, on the under portion of the brim and just, you know, steaming in, in a way to give it that curve, bring back that curve. And, you know, if you have a, a brim that has a wire in it, like our uh, fedora, our trippy fedora does, then just apply steam directly to that um, wire area and that'll soften it up to make it moldable.
Now remember, as you're steaming, you wanna work your way from inside portion of the brim to the outer portion of the brim. So from inside out. Start inside and move your way outward. Now you just want to dab off any excess moisture that remains on the hat. Just have a washcloth that we talked about earlier and just give it a couple of dabs on the um, areas of water. And make sure you, you apply the dabs generously, light pressure without taking away shape from the hat. On to step four. And that means we're gonna allow the hats to dry on a hard surface. Don't forget, cut off your steamer. And boom, that's it. I bet you doubted us, didn't you? I know you did, anything we could do this, huh? But here you go, you see it. Now your hats are back to new. And guess what? You can rock that joint this weekend without a doubt. Now we're pretty much done here. The final tip that we have for you is to use the call hat stiffener for your straw fedoras. And what that's gonna do is just give it that firm sh shape that it needs. And make sure to apply a generous amount. Boom, bonus tip. Now, if you feel your straw hat has lost some sheen, you can apply a light coat of water-based varnish. Just a light coat, boom, 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 and that's it. But make sure that it is water-based, fast dry and odorless. That will give your hat that brand new shine. And that does it for this episode of SG Style Notes. We hope that you liked what you saw. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And make sure you check out our other episodes that we have on our channel. Ladies and gentlemen, until next time, peace.